students i am shamli singh your biology teacher from shri tp bhatia junior college of science students before we start with the session i hope you have done the assignments which were posted before today i am here with a new mcq assignment in biology standard 12 chapter 7 plant growth and mineral nutrition so before we start with the session i would like to give you the gist of the content which we are going to cover during this session topics are photoperiodism vernalization plant hormone growth curve and deficiency in plants photoperiodism in the term photoperiodism photo stands for light and periodism stands for length of the daylight response of plants to the relative length of light and dark period with respect to flowering is called photoperiodism according to photoperiodism there are three types of plants long day plants short day plants and day neutral plants certain plants flower when the days are long such plants are called long day plants example radish spinach etc certain plants flower when the days are short such plants are called short day plant example rice cotton tobacco etc certain plants do not depends on light for their flowering those plants are called neutral plants example tomatoes sunflower pea etc vernalization treating plant with low temperature for subsequent growth and flowering is called vernalization vernalization is also called yarrowization chilling treatment or cold treatment vernalization reduces vegetative period and induces early flowering in plants based on vernalization there are two types of plants winter and spring variety plant hormone internal factor that influence growth are called growth hormones or growth regulators as they inhibit promotes or modifies the growth there are five types of plant hormone auxins gibberellin cytokinin abscisic acid ethylene out of this five auxin gibberellin cytokinin are called growth promoters whereas abscisic acid and ethylene are called growth inhibitors typical growth curve in plant a growth curve is an empirical mode of evolution of a quantity over time it shows a graphical representation of how a particular quantity increases over time growth curves are of two type exponential growth curve and sigmoid growth curve sigmoid growth curve shows s shape graph whereas exponential growth curve shows j shape graph mineral deficiency in plant causes many diseases loss of chlorophyll resulting in yellowing of leaf is called chlorosis necrosis is localized death of tissue of leaf premature fall of flower fruit and leaf is called abscission appearance of green and non green patches on leaf is called mottling Question number 1 dash is a long day plant the options are a cabbage b aster c soybean d tobacco let's see the hint the hint given is long day plants flower during summer the correct answer for the question is option a cabbage as you know students in summer the days are long and night is short These plants need long duration of light for flowering then it's critical photo period question number 2 which of them is odd one out the options are a wheat b poppy c radish d dahlia let's see the hint the hint is it is a winter plant the correct answer for the question is option d dahlia As you know students in winter the days are short and night is long so these plants need long duration of dark period for their flowering 
then its critical photo period the question is gibberlins are synthesized from dash the options are a mevalonic acid b lactic acid c malic acid d citric acid now let's have a look at the hint the hint is c6o4h12 it is a chemical formula of the answer any guesses the correct answer is option a mevalonic acid as the chemical formula is c6o4h12 let's have a look at next question next question dash hormone was isolated by yabuta and sumiki in crystalline form the options are a ethylene b gibberlin c cytokinin d auxin let's see the hint the hint is internode elongation the correct answer for the question is option b gibberlin students gibberlin is a hormone which induces shoot elongation and flowering fifth question dash is the first natural cytokinin the options are a iba b zeatin c 24d d aba let's see the hint the hint is it is obtained from unripe maize grain so the correct answer for the question is option b zeatin zeatin is a cytokinin derived from adenine it promotes growth of lateral buds and produce bushier plants question 6 which plant hormone causes fruit ripening options are a auxin b cytokinin c ethylene d aba the hint is the only plant hormone in gaseous form the correct answer is option c ethylene as ethylene is only gaseous hormone in plant ethylene helps in artificial ripening of fruits like apple banana mango etc question 7 name the plant hormone which reverses apical dominance effect the options are a gibberlin b auxin c ethylene d cytokine let's see the hint the hint is growth hormone that promotes cell division any guesses the correct answer is option d cytokinin cytokinin have negative effect on the apical dominance it promotes the growth of lateral buds question number 8 which of the following is not an auxin and the options are a iaa b iba c zeatin d naa let's see the hint the hint is natural cytokinin can you take a guess the right answer is option c zeatin because zeatin is a natural cytokinin while others are examples of auxin question 9 in which of the following highest growth is found options are a static phase b exponential phase c descending phase d lag phase let's see the hint the hint shows a j shaped curve so the correct answer for the question is option b exponential phase exponential phase shows maximum growth having j shape curve the question is typical growth curve in plants is dash and the options are a linear b stair step c parabolic d sigmoid let's see the hint the hint shows a s shape graph so the correct answer for the question is option d sigmoid sigmoid growth curve is also called a gestic growth pattern it occurs when environmental pressure slows the rate of growth this type of growth curve represents the human population growth question 
the avena curvature is used for bioassay of dash the options are a aba b ga3 c iaa d ethylene let's see the hint hint is avena curvature is used for bioassay of auxin the correct answer is option c iaa as from the above options iaa is the only auxin given question number 12 phytochrome is a dash the options are a lipoprotein b chromoprotein c flavoprotein d glycoprotein let's see the hint the hint is protein having pigmented prostatic group the correct answer for the question is option b chromoprotein as from the above option chromoprotein is the only protein having pigments question number 13 which hormone is called as stress hormone in plants the options are a aba b ethylene c ga3 d iaa let's see the hint the hint is this hormone is secreted in adverse environment conditions answer is aba aba increases the tolerance of plants towards various stress conditions for example dry and drought question number 14 dash equipment is used for measurement of linear growth of shoot the options are a clinostat b oxanometer c manometer d potometer let's see the hint the hint is the image of the equipment student remember oxen is used to increase growth in plant can you figure out the right answer let's have a look the right answer is option b oxanometer the question is dash is the only gaseous hormone and the options are a gibberellin b cytokinin c ethylene d auxin let's see the hint the hint has the chemical formula of the answer which is c2h4 so the correct answer is option c ethylene ethylene is produced in large amount by tissues undergoing senescence and ripening of fruits question 17 the low temperature treatment that reduces the period between sowing and flowering is called dash the options are a chemotaxis b vernalization c freezing injury d transpiration let's see the hint the hint given is yarrowization chilling effect springification which are the other terms for the answer so the correct answer for the question is option b vernalization vernalization shortens the vegetative phase and hastens flowering in plants winter variety crop can be converted to spring variety The question is dash is also known as anti transparent the options are a aba b ethylene c gibberellin d cytokinin let's see the hint the hint is it is also called stress hormone in plants so the correct answer for the question is option a a b a application of minute quantity of aba to leaves reduces transpiration to a greater extent through partial closure of stomata thus it conserves water question 19 maryland mammoth is a variety of dash the options are a tobacco b wheat c maize d rice let's see the hint The hint is Nicotiana tabacum which is the botanical name for the answer. That's so easy student. I hope most of you know the answer. The correct answer for the question is option A tobacco. Question number 20 dash is the first plant hormone. 
The options are A. Ethylene B. ABA C. Oxen D. Cytokinin Let's see the hint. The hint is IAA, NAA, IBA, 24D, etc. So the right answer is option C, auxin, as the hint shows all the examples of auxin. Question number 21. In photoperiod, plant secret dash which is responsible for flowering. The options are A. Cytosin, B. Vernulin, C. Phycocyanin, D. Fluorogen. Let's have a look at the hint. The hint is it is also called flowering hormone. The correct answer for the question is option D. Fluorogen. Fluorogen is a hypothetical hormone which is responsible for triggering flowering in plants. Question number 22. The stimulus of vernalization is known as DASH. The options are A. Colchicin B. Vernulin C. Fluorogen D. Abscission Let's see the hint. Hint is it is a hypothetical plant hormone. So the correct answer for the question is option B. Vernulin Students, Vernulin is a plant hormone produced on vernalization. Some plants won't bloom without cold treatment or vernalization. Question 23. Control of morphogenesis by light and phytochrome is called DASH. The options are A. Photomorphogenesis B. Phototropism C. Photophosphorylation D. Photoperiodism Let's see the hint. The hint is it is a light mediated development. Students, light mediated development is development where plant growth pattern respond to the light spectrum. The correct answer for the question is option A. Photomorphogenesis Question number 24. Dash is the localized death of tissue of leaves. The options are A. Abscission B. Necrosis C. Chlorosis D. Mottling Let's have a look at the hint. Hint shows a picture in which the condition of the leaf has become worse as it is diseased. Can you guess the disease? So the correct answer for the question is option B. Necrosis Students Necrosis weakens the plants and makes it more susceptible to other diseases and pests. Last but not the least, question number 25. Deficiency symptoms of magnesium in plant is called DASH. The options are A. Stunted growth B. Dieback of shoot C. Chlorosis D. Brown heart disease The hint is the hint shows the picture of leaf which has turned yellow due to disease. Can you figure out the answer? The correct answer for the question is option C. Chlorosis Chlorosis is loss of the normal green coloration of leaves caused by magnesium deficiency or lack of light. I hope the session was good and I am looking forward for more such sessions. Student, if you have any doubt or difficulty in understanding or any feedback, please comment us below.